All right, so here's my crude drawing. Um, we'll start at the battery. So let's start at the charger. Of course, the charger's plugged into the wall. Comes over to the battery. We go, let's, we'll follow the positive first. Positive goes up. This is the what powers the relay, or the timer. So this is just where it gets power. Positive goes over here. I've got it jumpered. So it comes over here, and we're using the same, just hot, to come over here and power one side of the relay on the timer. Then we just hop over to here, and we send power to the contacts of the relay. Now this is the actual contacts, so, you know, that move up and down by the relay. So that ends where our positive goes. Let's start with the negative, or go to the negative. From the charger, sorry, the dog's in here. Uh, go with the charger, negative goes over to the battery, comes over, goes up to the timer. Again, this just powers the timer. Comes over. And this is the coil on the relay. This is what powers the contacts. And then it just jumpers. We're just sending a negative over here to the other contact on the relay. So we've got a positive here, a negative here. Again, this is the contacts that are just moved by the relay. Now, the timer itself, so when it's on, when it sends the on signal, this contact closes and it energizes this wire over to here, which powers the little coil on the relay, which flips the contacts down. So with it off, let's just say this is off, the timer is telling it off, so this is not hot right here. So it is sending positive over to the positive. Now, I don't I don't remember the polarity on the actuator. This could be wrong. You can see my crude right crude drawing gets really crude right here. So we're sending a positive to this terminal here. We're sending a negative to this terminal here. And that goes down and powers the actuator. Again, this the way this actuator works, you power it one way, it goes out. You power it the other way, it goes in. So let's just say you send positive to the negative and but if you send positive to the negative, sorry, shadow here and negative to the positive, let's just say in this situation it um, it goes out. So for me that would be powering the door down. Again, I don't remember the polarity on it. What I did is I had all this wired up and then I just touched my wires to the actuator and when it, with this off, when it extended out I connected the wires up. I don't remember which way it was. But what we're doing here, so what we need to do, we want it to send power one way when this is off, which would be this off as well. But when this relay call, or this timer calls for on, and it powers this relay, we need to flip the polarity. So what we've got here is we are jumpering basically the hot we're flipping sides on the relay so you know you've got two contacts connecting to two contacts here but when it comes over to here we take let me grab a pencil so You've got your relay. I'm trying to think of how to draw this. Maybe we treat it separately, each one. 
each pole of it. There. So this is our relay coming from the battery. Let's just say this is positive and this is negative. So right now if we sent this to the actuator it would be getting positive Wait. No, this would go to the actuator. We'd be getting positive, and we'd be getting a negative. That's going to the actuator. Now, when this relay flips on, it's going to come over to here, and this will come over to here. So what we do is we take and we jumper this wire over to here. So let's just say we're going to run a wire that's going to come over here, over to here, and then we will connect these two. So what that's going to do is when, and again, these two are going to the actuator. So, but with this flipped, see, we're sending a positive, we're sending a negative. Once this flips over to here, and this one comes over to here, now, since we've jumpered, it's backwards. This, which used to be a negative side, is now running over and powering positive over here. And this, which used to be negative, is now coming over here, sending positive. So we have flipped sides. We have reversed polarity with the relay. And that's what we're doing right here. And this is this corresponds to the actual numbers on the relay. So we've got uh, position four on the relay is jumpered over to position 5 and position 1 and 8 are jumpered over and then we're connecting our positive and negative that go to the actuator also on 4 and 1. 12 is the positive for the coil on the relay, 9 is the negative, and 14 we're using as a positive for the center contacts, and 13 is the negative for the center. So all this is doing is when it's powered off, it's sending straight positive and negative through. And since we've got it jumpered over like this, when it flips, when it powers and it goes to these contacts, it reverses the polarity. And so, and so this then becomes a positive and this becomes a negative when this is powered on that makes sense and then it powers the actuator so tried to draw it out where y'all could understand it um, but uh, hopefully that made sense and uh, there's there's other ways you could do it you could do it um, you could kind of reverse this you could have this go into the actuator and you could have your positive and negative coming in and then flip the polarity on the other set of terminals on the other set of contacts you could do it that way too um, either way it does the same thing I just found this to be I don't know just the way I wanted to do it so anyway hopefully that makes sense if you have any questions you can leave a comment down below uh, hit the like button and subscribe for more thanks for watching